Today I'm installing the tachometer and also a clock on my Virago 125. For some of you who ride this bike or Virago 250, you know that there is no tachometer. So it would be nice to have something like this installed. Let me show you how it can be done. Now here is the tachometer and the clock. When you look at this tachometer, there are many wires going out. You know that red and black, they are like power in and out. Uh, blue and green, they are for an external switch. Say you're using a switch to manually turn on and off the tachometer, and then you would be using that, but I'm not using that, so I'm gonna just disregard them. Now the yellow goes to the ignition coil, which requires an extra wiring, so I'll be doing that later. Now I first thought about installing this here, which is nice, but it's not going to be symmetrical. So what I'm doing is now installing this clock on this side, so they look better. And you can see that they are in the same size, so I can create a nice symmetrical feel on this area. Just like that. So the tachometer is going to go right there. That looks good, right? Alright, let's do it. So I made this, okay? The red goes to the red there, and the black goes to that green. Let's do this side, close it up, and work on the ignition coil wire. So I have extended the yellow wire like this. Now it goes all the way here and extension splits here. Uh, now that goes to here. Okay. That. Okay. And the other end, that goes right there to the ignition coil. Okay, it's done. Alright, so let's put everything back together and see how it works. Turn the ignition on. Okay, power is now on. It's a cold start, so pull the choke up. And then, here we go! Oh, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. It's really high. So I'm gonna turn this down. Good. It's slight, there's a slight delay to it, but it works good! Okay, so you can now see a nice symmetrical setup, uh, which is good. Now let's take a look at the uh, tachometer. Okay, so let's just turn this on. There's a button behind this. If I push it, if I push the mode button, battery strength, which is right now is 10.7, that's pretty low. When I turn the engine on, it's probably going to go up higher, but uh, it still is pretty low, so it's time to change the battery. Let's push it again, and now it says color 1, and there's this button on the right side, on the back here. Um, when I push that, it changes the color from white to blue. Blue is nice, like that, okay, and then... Orange. Oh yeah, I like that better, so I'm just gonna keep that as is. Oh, by the way, I have switched these back from here to outside. It was actually here before, and I switched it here, and then changed it back again. It was kind of tight with space there, so... Alright, so I'm out for the test ride, and it's working! It's great! It's pretty responsive too, so it works great! Right now it's about 50 kilometers per hour and it seems it seems to be it's around 3500 rpm. That sounds about right. Yeah, I changed the uh, the sprockets so that sounds about right. You saw that the battery here the uh, the voltage was like, you know, 10.6, 10.7 when the engine wasn't running. But now, the, when the engine's running, it's like, you know, 12.5, sometimes it's like 13. So that means the alternator, or the stator, and um, the regulator and everything, they're working. 
it's just the battery is low um, so it's time for me to probably change the battery all right so thanks for watching i see you again soon